everyone and welcome back to Arike Cook's channel. Today I'm going to be making a saru. Some people call it a bear and it's also called yam porridge or yam pottage. So I'm going to be showing you step by step. This is the yam I'm going to be using. My hot subscriber, thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for your support. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to the team. Let's get started. So, I peeled my yam now. After peeling, I'm going to cut the yam into small, small pieces. So I'm going to cut the yam into small pieces. Look at what I have, like this size is okay. And I'm going to cut everything like that and I will show you the next step. So I finished peeling and cutting the yam into pieces now. You can see the size. And the next thing I'm going to rinse it. I'm going to throw this water away and put another water to rinse it. So this is the first segment of our yam porridge of our asaro the second segment is the pepper now so i'm going to show you the pepper i'm going to blend and how i'm going to start the preparation please to encourage me you need to subscribe share with your friends that is the only way you can use to encourage me please don't forget to like share subscribe with subscribe and don't forget to press the notification button thank you i'm going to show you the second step now so the blended part is going to be in two parts and here i have two bell pepper one scotch bonnet one rodo it's very hot so i'm going to use one and i have four paprika this paprika is going to give it the redness i want so I'm going to blend two onions with this and the other onions, the remaining two onions, I'm going to blend it separately. So I'm going to blend these two onions first after I will blend this pepper and onions together as well. I'm going to show you step by step. There are different ways of making a saro yam porridge. So I'm going to be showing you the way I'm going to make it today. And maybe next time, if I'm making it next time, and I'm going to show you another way again. Now I have my yam in the pot. And I blended two of the onions. So I'm going to pour the mixture, the onion mixture now. And I'm going to allow it to boil up first. And this is the pepper and onions is already blended. But I'm going to allow the onion to boil with the yam first before adding that to it. And I'm going to show you step by step. So the onion is boiling with the yam now. There's a the time I'm going to be adding the blended pepper. Because this is a new yam, you don't really need a lot of water in it, so I won't be adding any water to it, except from the blended pepper and the blended honey. I'm going to add oil now, just little oil. So I'm adding just little oil like one serving spoon, not too much oil. I'm going to stir it together. You can see the color. That is the work of the paprika, the long pepper. It's going to make it very red. You can see the color now.
now that the yam is boiling, I will be adding two tablespoon. No, sorry, two. Uh, yes, two tablespoon of sugar. The yam I'm using, I'm using two uh, two yam, one big yam and one medium yam is what I'm using. So I had two tablespoon of sugar. I will also be adding one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. I will also be adding pinch of salt. I'm going to cover back to cook more. This is after 15 minutes. You can see the yam has started breaking on its own without matching it. So I'm going to cover it again for about 10 minutes and I will now start the next process which is the matching. I will load the heat now and I will start mashing with my wooden spoon but I'm not going to mash everything just the little lowering the heat will make uh, all the water in there thicken so that's what I'll be doing. I'll be showing you the end results. My cameraman is now at home, so I'm doing the video. I'm holding the camera myself, so I'll show you the end results. So after machining, this is what I've got. So I've already loaded the heat. I'm going to cover it up to steam for about 10 minutes, and I'll show you the end results. Please don't forget to like, share with your friend, and subscribe. By sharing with your friends and letting them subscribe, that means you are giving me a good support. Please, please, and please share, subscribe, comment, like. Thank you. So here is the end result of the Asaro. Thanks for watching. See you next time.